Hi, I'm Mr. Mike. In today's video, which I'm calling Who is Truly Saved? I will give two scenarios of two different believers in Christ. Um, which one of the two uh, do you believe is say, truly saved? Right, the first scenario, a believer in Christ goes to church once a week, prays from time to time, but after church goes to the betting shop to gamble goes to cinema to watch a violent movie, dabbles in pornography um, and uses foul language. Is he truly saved? And a second scenario, a believer in Christ prays to God every day and repents daily, avoids bad movies, avoids foul language, is kind and considerate to his brothers and sisters. Um, I know we all fall short uh, and we all sin, but we need to repent when we do that and try your best to avoid sinning. Um, and lives an honest life and loves God with all their heart, soul, mind and strength. So, who of the two is truly saved? So, also, um, if we read Hebrews 10.26, if we sin willfully, after that which we have received, the knowledge of the truth, there remain no more sacrifice for sins. Also, I'm going to leave a link to um, the Nicolosians video. They, uh, their belief was that they uh, believed in Jesus, but uh, did what they wanted afterwards. Um, so do you think they were saved? Um, also, I want to read more scriptures. 2 Timothy 2.15 No one serving as a soldier gets entangled in civilian affairs, but rather tries to please his commanding officer. Similarly, anyone who competes as an athlete does not receive the victor's crown except by completing according to the rules. Also, Matthew 22.14 For many are called, but few are chosen. Also, Matthew 7.13 Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter therein. Um, also, I want to finish with um, this scripture here in James chapter 2. Um, and I'll start with verse... Fourteen to twenty-five. What do it profit, my brethren, though a man say he have faith and have not works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not these things which are needed to the body, what doth it profit? Even so faith if it have not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, Though has faith, and I have works, show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Thou believe that there is one God. You do well. The devils also believe and tremble. But will thou, all a vain man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works? when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? See thou have faith with his works, and by works was faith made perfect. And the scripture was fulfilled, which saith, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed upon him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Ye see how then, by works a man is justified, and not by faith alone. Likewise also was Rahab the harlot justified by works, when she had received the messages and have sent them out another way. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Anyway, I'll leave it there. So anyone out there hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please do some prayer repentance. God bless you all. Bye-bye.